What if we just keep that? We spell our cobra with a K. They can call us triple K. Like KKK? Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Hey guys, welcome to Cobra Kai Karate. And I'm gonna tell you my story from how I just started this channel or when I first saw Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai Kid. Then about a year later, I interviewed him. So, here's that story. So, we had to start from way back in the beginning. Way back. First off, I never really knew what the Karate Kid was. I didn't even know there was Karate Kid. Um, I had, but the only thing I do about the Karate Kid, actually I'll get it right now. Hold on. This right here. The exact same case, exact same disc. This is all I knew. It, we played it one time, we bought it somewhere, I was playing on TV, I watched it, I liked it a lot. And then, you know, I watched it a couple other times and I liked it. And this is what I thought the Karate Kid was. And I liked the Karate Kid. It wasn't like my favorite movie, but I knew what it was, I liked it. I never knew the original, I didn't know this remake, I didn't know anything. But, what I did always hear, my friends used to always say, you know, Cobra Kai never died. It's it. Strike first, strike hard, and worse. They used to say all this stuff. So it's supposed to be like 2019, somewhere around there. I had no idea what they're talking about. I just thought they said that. I don't know. I had no idea. I just thought Cobra Kai was like a gang or something. I, I didn't even know what I thought. But I heard them say that. Um, One day, I'm on YouTube. It was about 2020, I think. I used to stay up on, on my laptop like 3 in the morning watching all these weird videos and for some reason, I don't even know how because I never watched anything remotely close to it, but I click on a video. I was really bored and I was just watching a bunch of random videos and I click on a video. It was Cobra Kai Kid video and it was like a live stream. It was back in 2020. It was like a, and he had like, like 5,000, 10,000 subscribers. He didn't have enough subscribers and I was watching one of his live streams talking about Cobra Kai. And I saw how excited he was. I'm like, Cobra Kai. That's what my friends always say. And then, I'm pretty, and then at the end, he goes like, Cobra Kai never dies. I'm like, that's my that's my friends say. I'm like, what the heck is Cobra Kai? And, he, and, and then he was talking like, I don't know, is he talking like about like a sport? I had no idea. So I type it in, and I realize it's a TV show. So then I go look at the actors like Ralph Macchio and William Zabka. Because that's what I love to do. I like to go on movies and look at the actors and look at their other movies. See if I know them from another movie. Because um, the actor looked a little familiar. Which I think I knew Ralph Macchio because I'm pretty sure I saw my cousin. I saw my cousin Vinny before. Yeah, I used to watch that a couple times. So the actor looked familiar. So I click on it. Then it says he's in The Karate Kid. I'm like, wait, he is not in this movie. But then I realized it's not the same movie. Then I'm like, wait, what? So then I realized that this is a remake. And that movie lady has... The Karate Kid, The Karate Kid Part 2, The Karate Kid Part 3, The Next Karate Kid. And then eventually I realized that leads into a TV series, like a spin-off called Cobra Kai. With like two seasons. And this was before season three. So like, wow. So then I watched like the Karate Kid trailer, I watched the Karate Kid Part 2 trailer, I watched all these trailers. And eventually I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Then I went to bed. Next morning I woke up, I remembered it, and I'm like, hey mom, you know there's the original Karate Kid, right? And then it was confusing because my mom never knew there was a remake, so she thought it was confusing, but we figured it out. So I guess I found the original, she found the remake because she said she said she always used to watch the original. I never knew about it. So at the time, I loved diving into franchises, and I was like, hey, I should watch um, The Karate Kids. That'd be fun. And then, yeah, so I went to the library, and I requested it. I don't know if... And for my library, you can watch, you can request the movies and watch them for like a week. <clears throat> it was like a million DVDs at my library. So I looked around, boom, there it is. It was a four film collection. It came with the Karate Kid, Karate Kid Part 2, the Karate Kid Part 3. It came with the next Karate Kid. And uh, yeah, it also came with the Karate Kid remake. It was a final. No, I don't think it came with the next Karate Kid. Yeah, it just came with the free, the free Karate Kids and the remake. It did not come with the next Karate Kid. It's still at my library, that exact same one. So I, I, I rented it. I brought it home, and I remember I didn't even watch it. I was so busy. Then we had to return it back. And, like, then I, then I seriously see another Cobra Kai Kid video on my feed. I'm like, oh, my God, a Karate Kid. I need to watch that. Because, and then I also watched um, Daniel's The Real Bully from Karate Kid. I watched it. I, I had no idea what it was about. I watched, like, half of it. I'm like, I had no idea who Daniel Johnny was. I had no idea. So I'm like, so I watched the movie. I, I requested it again. watched the first one, and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I watched it, and I remember like the end, the end of the scene. We had to leave. I'm like, no, mom, I'm staying here. I have to watch this. It was that tournament. I'm like, I had to watch it. I want to know who wins. 
because you know I was a huge fan of Rocky at the time and literally in all the Rocky movies well not all of them but the first Rocky um he loses at the end so and it was directed by the exact same person and played the exact same music so I'm like oh crap is he gonna lose but he didn't and that, that was awesome but so I loved it next I watched then I watched that night after I finished it um sorry about that sorry anyway I had to end the video I had to so, where was I? Okay, I watched Daniel versus Daniel Johnny thing, and I watched it the whole time, actually knowing what it was about. It made me so so mad. You had no idea. I was like, wait, what is this person talking about? I have not seen Cobra Kai yet, so I guess you can say I was a little biased. But I'm like, what? No, Daniel is not the bully. I thought it made me so bad. Literally, I was furious. But don't worry. Um, my opinion changed a little bit, but I still think. There's a side to both of them. Doesn't really matter who's right or wrong. It's not really up to me to decide that. Oh, so so motivational. I'm sorry. Um. And also at the time, I was still watching Cobra Kai Kid. Like I watched like, a couple videos now and then because he was like doing all these videos that I thought were pretty cool. But I had no idea what Cobra Kai Kid. So I didn't watch it that much. I didn't think I was subscribed. So so I didn't really like really onto it because I didn't even know what Cobra Kai was really yet. yet. The next, the day after I watched Karate Kid, that Karate Kid, um, I watched, the day after I watched Karate Kid, the next day, at night time, I watched Karate Kid Part 2. I loved it too. I thought it was awesome. And then after that, I, go, I will go to my little sister, Mimi. And I say, hey, have you seen Karate Kid? And she finally was talking about the remake. I'm like, oh my gosh, she does the original. It's so good. It's the best thing ever. She, she had no idea what it was. And oh yeah, I probably mentioned it. I think I'm not the only person that does this. I'm pretty sure every single person has done this after watching the Karate Kid. You already know after watching the first Karate Kid. I went on my chair, started practicing the crane technique, and I fell off, and that hurt really bad. I know it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I, I always remember when I fell off on my chair. That chair is right there, actually. See that? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. But come on. It was so awesome. Anyway, so then me and my sister, we, we watched the first Karate Kid together. She never watched it, I watched it. We watched it together. The next day, we watched Karate Kid Part 2 together. So I've never, I've not seen Karate Kid Part 3 yet, so now we both seen Karate Kid 1 and 2. I've seen it two times, two times at one time, now we're both watching Karate Kid Part 3 together. We watched Karate Kid Part 3. Amazing. Um, and it was also the movie that really, really made me, like, love Mr. Miyagi. I don't know, he just felt so innocent, like a sweet old man, like he didn't want anything. And it's just the thing that really made me love Mr. Miyagi. And he's literally my second favorite movie character of all time. My favorite one's Rocky, because, you know, I've been watching that for a long time. But anyway. Um, and also, one thing that stands out was Terry Silver. I thought, wow, that was awesome. First off, I had no idea that he was going to be in season three. No idea what was going on with Cobra Kai. I didn't even know John Kreese was in John Kreese was in Cobra Kai. I had no idea. So in our next movie, I was gonna watch the next Karate Kid. And I'm gonna watch the Cobra Kai series because then I just realized that okay, they're gonna make Cobra Kai season three, and you know that's happening. And this was around 2020 as well. It's still in 2020. So um um like a week later after I watched Karate Kid Part Three, I've been I loved the first few movies. I watched them. I still. I, I rent it every time I have to bring it back, I get it back. I never really watched the next Karate Kid because it wasn't on it. I'm like, how do I get the next Karate Kid? Um, so then I requested the next Karate Kid. I requested it um, from the library. It, it came, but I never really watched it, just like the first time. And then we went, to, we went on vacation to my cabin. We were there for like a whole month. We got back, I'm like, all right, I'm watching the next Karate Kid. He requested it. I watched it. And it was good. I liked it. It wasn't as bad as people say this, but, you know, the monks come in, and it's just a little weird. I don't know. It, it was definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was pretty good, actually. I liked it. I just didn't honestly feel respected enough. I think it was good. Um, so I'm like, all right, Cobra Kai. I was super excited. So, like, a day or a day or two after I watched the next Kai, I'm like, all right, we have to get into Cobra Kai. I watched this trailer. I was like, wow, that trailer's awesome. I watched Cobra Kai off my dad's account on YouTube because, you know, I don't have YouTube Premium. 
YouTube Red, whatever it's called. I watched it. I watched the first five episodes, and I was insanely blown how good it was. Me and my sister watched it together too. And I'm like, all right, that's enough. That's enough. And then like an hour later after that, I just could not stop thinking about it. Right, we have to go watch it. We have to. And then I finished the five episodes. I'm like, wait, it's already over? What? And that's really, I, I just finished season one in one day. And it was crazy. About like a day or day two later, we go to season two. That took us like two days to finish. Then I realized season three is happening. I got so excited. That, that's when, then I went to Koba Kai Kid again. Um, and he posted all these news, all the stuff he didn't have. And I got, I subscribed. I turned the links. This was around August, I think. And I started really getting into season three. And then the trailer came out and all the stuff. And yeah, season three is probably my favorite season. I'm a little bit biased because of it, because like, I, I didn't really get excited for season one and two because it's already out. But season three is when I really started waiting. I watched the breakdowns, the theories, the trailers, all that stuff. So yeah, season three. It came out um, January 1st, 2021. It's supposed to be January 6th or something, but it didn't. It was New Year's. Um, I We were trying to stay up on Netflix. Like the second minute it turns to free, 3 a.m. or 12, whatever, we were going to watch it. But the whole thing, but then we fell asleep and we woke up. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's out. So then I watch it. And of course, we watched the whole thing in one day because, you know, it was awesome. And I could not stop thinking about it. And then ever since then, I've been watching, watching Cobra Kai, watching Cobra Kai, watching Cobra Kai, watching Cobra Kai. And then my favorite TV show at the time was Punisher. I love Punisher. Like, Punisher was my TV show. I loved it for years ever since it came out. And I said, this TV show can't be better than Punisher. But then I started watching it, and now Cobra Kai is my favorite TV show. And it's more than my favorite TV show. It's one of my favorite things like in the world right now. So, yeah. And it's basically because of Cobra Kai Kid. He's the one that really, like, if I would never click on that video randomly, I probably would not be doing that. But then I saw Cobra Kai Kid starting a lot more subscribers, like a lot. And I started liking his videos a lot more. I started, like, trying to not I started turning on not notifications. Going to all those live streams, all that stuff. I said, wow, what if I made a channel doing this? That was just when the idea started. Eventually, I made the channel. And I made the name Cobra Kai Karate with a K, because that's the thing that I always remember from season three. The joke that Johnny made. I'm not part of the KKK. I just need an original Cobra Kai kid name. I'm not part of the KKK. Okay. Um, so I made it. I started making videos. I made you know, a whole bunch of weird videos. Then I eventually made like this Cobra Kai fan-made trailer thing oh yeah and my image my image my profile picture why is it dark brown here's the story i want to make my channel and i and i just did not want to do it i just want to make it i'm like i need a profile picture so um i was looking i'm like wait i have nothing on my camera then i just had a picture of dark brown I'm like all right i'm doing that i don't care and yeah that just happened i posted a, a um, video of a fan-made trailer i made and then someone commented Van Dor music. She commented and she said, Oh, that's really nice. I'm like, so you, said, you said you had more subscribers. I had zero subscribers at the time. I had zero subscribers like a whole week. I'm like, Oh, yeah, thank you. It's just really hard starting out. She's like, Do you want me to give you a shout out? I was like, Yeah. And then she did. Then I got like nine subscribers right away. People commented on the video and I felt so awesome. I was making videos every day. And I still have Koba Kai Kid. Let's fast forward to I was watching one of Koba Kai Kid's live stream. I'm already like 30 subscribers. Thank you, Van Dor music. I was watching one of his live streams, How to Do It Fullers. I was a little late to the party. I got there, and then you just playing guitar. I was like, oh, wait, I thought this was not complaining. I love guitar. I play it all the time. So I was definitely happy. And I was definitely shocked. Like, wait, he plays guitar? Wow. But um, I watch it, and I see people like saying much. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what if he gives me like a shout-out? So I'm like, I can spend like $2, and I can do it. I fly downstairs. I'm like, Mom, can I spend $2? She's like, uh, I don't care. Fly back upstairs. My phone was about to die. I'm like it was, I was freaking. I eventually sent it. I start screen recording. I'm like, and then nothing happens. I'm like, oh my gosh, it did not work. But then boom, it comes up, and then he makes this video. The Cobra Kai Karate. Hey, I love your videos. You inspire my channel. Oh, thank you so much. I like your uh your image, um, Doc Brown. Great Scott Marty. Great Scott. Eighty nine point one nine gigabytes. I don't know. I don't know. Back. We have to go back to the future, Marty. We have to go back. Wait, Doc. We have to go back to the future, Doc. This is heavy stuff, Doc. By the way, great impression. Next morning, I show my sister. She thought it was a joke. I'm like, it's not a joke. And then, 
eventually um I posted a video saying thank you about this. I thank you like no, I posted the video I'm, I'm, I posted the video on my channel saying Cobra Kai Kid give me a shout out. It wasn't really a shout out but whatever. But he comments on that video. He comments on it. I was like, Oh my gosh, no way. And I was like, dude, this person knows who I am. Like I was kind of a big fan at the time. Like he slowly not he slowly fast he became my my biggest YouTuber. Really fast. And then he started commenting on videos more. I started making more videos. And he kept commenting, commenting. That's why I need to better and better. And then, so he's, he commented on videos like three times. You know, I thought it was pretty special. And then um, I watched his movie, um, Baby Yoda. By the way, go watch it. 5,000 views. I mean, that's actually not right because this dude, they went through so much. Dude, they went to the woods till 2 in the morning, freezing cold. They had the cops called on them. By the way, funny story. They have, and the editing, man, it's so good. The singing, the story, dude, the CGI, it's so good. Like, wow, it's really good. And it really has something special to it. And that's not a joke. I'm not saying that for nothing. That is truly. I've been watching movies for, like, my whole life, and that did impress me. And not even big movies impressed me. That one did. So I'm not saying that out of nothing. It was good. So that was good. It was only 40 minutes, so you can have the time to do it. It was amazing. So I watched it. I loved that. <laughs> I loved it. I showed all my family. They loved it. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, what am I doing? Um, baby Yoda. It was awesome. But then he went to the Cobra Kai cast. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like all the way over to Georgia or wherever it is. I was saying, I don't know. I don't exactly remember. Was it in like Georgia? All right, I'm going to call it Georgia because I don't remember where the Comic Con thing was. I'm going to say Georgia. All right. I got there, I'm like, Cobra Kai kid's gonna be there. The cast is gonna be there. I got so excited, like, Mom, get the plane, driving to Georgia tomorrow, Saturday. So like, uh, no. But it was awesome. Then I saw I was waiting for him to post a picture of them. I saw it, we were watching Agents of Shield. Great TV show. I was like, oh my gosh, I could not believe it. Like I was so happy. Like I watched him for so long and there he is. I and then that night I had to make a video off it. I made it. I sent it to Cobra Kai Kid because I thought he would love that because I saw his, cause I just imagined like, dude, if this was me and someone's doing this, they would love it. And I love to make him happy because he's been making me happy for like the last year. So I sent it to him. He commented on it, said it was great, all this stuff. And then, craziest thing ever happened in my life happens. He says, maybe we can do like a live chat. I woke up to that. I was like, Oh my gosh. I get my sister, I freak out. I email him like, yes, we can do that. Maybe I can do like a 10, 15 minute interview. I was like, sure, maybe Friday. I'm like, Friday? I downloaded Zoom, I got all my stuff ready. Then I was watching another live stream not too long ago. And then he says, oh yeah, um, I sent you an email that we, that we can't really do it Friday. I'm like, oh crap, because I deleted email because I deleted email because I was running out of space on my phone, so I just deleted it. I downloaded it back and it's like, oh crap. So I'm like, oh yeah, well, what time should you do it? And he says, you want to do, want to do it today? I was not expecting this. My whole family knows that I'm going to interview him. I was talking about it. My sister wasn't here. She was gone somewhere. I go get paper, I swear. I rip it up. And I go, yes, no, yes, no. And then when I got to the one, I said, yes. I was like, oh my gosh. I emailed him, like, yeah, we can do it today. And then we, my sister came. I told her about it. She started freaking out. Then we started getting like comic creation, like, oh, we had the screen accord. Oh, we're trying to figure out time because he's an Easter time. It was confusing. But he got on. I saw his face. I was like, oh my gosh. We eventually did a stream yard, and that's when the interview happened. The whole time in the interview, it was insane. When we finished the interview, I went downstairs. I said, like, I cannot believe it. It was insane. And then um, I tried to, the editing was so hard because I had to edit the video. First, I was going to screen record the video because he, like, Post the video on his channel, but only I can see it. So I was going to screen record it, then upload it, edit it, edit it, then upload it. I screen recorded four times in a row, the whole 30 minute video, and it did not go through. So that sucked. So then I saved the video on my laptop. I edited it on my laptop, and then trying to save it to my laptop file store for years. I was probably, I was up to like 12 in the morning, like up all morning doing that. But I eventually got it edited, I posted it, and it came out. And that's my story. This is insane. 
and it's all thank you to three people. Three, yeah. Number one, Cobra Kai Kid. Thank you, Cobra Kai Kid. Bendora Music, thank you for giving me a shout out. And just everyone who's watching this, people who subscribed, people who like my videos and do all this stuff. And every day is a blessing. Alright, but today, I am going to go watch Rocky IV in theater. Um, did that come out in 1985? Yeah, the director's cut. By the way, if you're not seen Rocky, I recommend it. Especially if you're a Cobra Kai fan, because um, they talk about Co Rocky and Cobra Kai all the time. They always talk about Rocky three, And then even recently, they say, oh, it's going to be like every single Rocky fight. And now that I watch Rocky now, and I've seen Cobra Kai, I'm like, dude, this is like a lot like Cobra Kai. But there's Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's five Rocky movies. Then there's a sixth one called Rocky Balboa. Then there's a spinoff called Creed and Creed 2. And soon to be Creed 3. So it's a huge franchise. But trust me, it's amazing. Definitely, definitely sets the tone, you know, of Cobra Kai. It has that tone to it. So, yeah. I think it's awesome. That's the video. Thank you, everyone. Oh, thank you, everyone. Have a good day. And Cobra Kai. Never dies. Alright, I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna go. Go watch Rocky Four.